Of course, Donna Odegaard, CEO of Larrakia TV, is a Larrakia woman, and uh, apart from a pretty extraordinary educational background, master's degree, PhD on Indigenous legal issues affecting the land and human rights of her people, um, Donna believes in the power of Indigenous broadcasting. Otherwise, I guess she would never have taken on the great challenge of Australia's most recent digital TV station. Uh, and it now reaches not only the greater Darwin area, but 25 distinct Aboriginal communities, showing us the power and reach of Indigenous media. So please welcome Dr Donna Odegaard. Ma Gurungura. Larakia Gulamring, Gudiraba Guan Barangwa. Thank you. My name is Donna Odegaard. I'm a Larakia traditional owner and elder of the Darwin and surrounding region, our country, Larakia country. We are from the Soul Border people, but I was born in the bush and grew up in a tent and in the in the desert uh, while he was working there. So my connection stretches from the sea to the bush. I'm here not only as the CEO of Larrakia Broadcasting, which, uh, thank you, Jeff, is, is about Larrakia TV, and as you saw the showreel, um, much more. We have four television channels, digital television channels, but also three radio stations, and uh, much more. It's about, we exist because of the people, our people, our youth. Um, with respect to our elders, the stories we, we, we heard, um, you know, from uncle, uh, are so precious. And this is why we are here. And it reminded me, I was going to just go straight into this uh, formal speech, but it, it brings you back. It says who we are as Aboriginal people. And it says we have this story to tell. We have been here for millennia. Cultural protocols underpins everything we do. Languages and events... Uh, with broadcasting expertise in the latest digital technology. We're assisting in the Indigenous cultural transmission through the television and radio broadcasting programs and the research that's happening, the projects, uh, the, the, the pre preservation archival, diverse uh, Indigenous cultural heritages uh, is happening. And uh, it, it will be interesting to see in, in a few years' time just how the whole face of broadcasting changes, Indigenous broadcasting is changing and, and bringing us together as an Australian community. It, it's all positive. Um, we provide full-time jobs. We have an Indigenous um, broadcasting training program. That, that means real jobs and that is actually having a great impact on our communities and our families. Um, it's giving greater access for Indigenous people. Uh, to be part of this um, digital revolution. It's increasing education, training and employment opportunities. It's developing strategic business and marketing planning to ensure strong governance, secured viability and longevity of the whole Aboriginal broadcasting sector. Radio, my father used to say, it is our lifeline. It is our lifeline, so you look after that, you know. Well, my father's been gone a long, long time now and I'm sure he would be uh, so proud that I'm part of this group. Now, in taking this approach, because we start with nothing, no money, no nothing, um, you know, as my father said, if you do things with a good heart, good people come to you and that is exactly what's happened. So there's been no magic solution, there's been no... Um, government assistance to do this. We have actually dipped into our own pockets and done this and we will continue to do that uh, because that's the type of people that are involved. So there's, there is a... We're not-for-profit, but there, we're also philanthropic in approach because we put back into the community all the time. And we're able to uh, come up with innovative ways to bring our costs down um, and, uh, you know, look... In addition to, to all that I've said, you know, this is an opportunity to, to broadcast through radio and television the many success stories that otherwise go unheard and unseen. 
and, and we need to have those books out there, we need to have those stories, we need film and production so that we can um, immortalise our heroes in our communities uh, who, who don't see themselves as that, but they truly re really are. Uh, just finally, I wish to reiterate that um, the Alliance is all about the future of Aboriginal people and Aboriginal jobs. And I think that uh, we've only just begun. So watch this space. <laughs> Thank you. Mama.